What's going on guys? Today we're going to go over a complicated triangle question. First, I'm going to show you how you can quickly get the answer. And then I'm going to give you a detailed breakdown so that you can understand exactly what happened and understand it and use it on your next exam. Let's get straight into it. What's up guys? John from Admission Hackers. Quick announcement before we start. You're about to see one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program only covers what's proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. Also, I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it. Let's get to the video. So the question says in the figure above, BD is parallel to AE. Okay, so these two things are parallel. What's the length of CE, right? So CE is right here, BD and AE, they're parallel. These are parallel, which means angles are going to be the same here and here, and they share the last third angle, okay? So same set of angles, that means it's going to be a similar triangle, which means that their side length are going to be proportional. So we can use proportion here. So we know that six and 18 are going to be proportional. So first, we can do six over 18 is equal to CD over CE. So CD over CE. And to find CE, we need to know what CD is. So how do we find CD? Well, it's a right triangle, so we can do Pythagorean theorem. So we can do Pythagorean theorem, eight squared plus six squared is equal to CD squared, which is going to be 36 plus 64 is equal to CD squared. And if we add them up, it's going to be 100 CD squared. CD is equal to 10 by square rooting both sides. And now we can use this information to find out what CE is, which is going to be the last step. So 6 over 18 is equal to CD, which is going to be 10 over CE. And that's the only unknown variable, so cross multiply. So 6CE is going to be equal to 10 times 18, which is 180, just add a zero to it. And CE is going to be equal to 180 over 6, which is going to be 18 divided by 6, 3, add a zero, 30. So you could have either just done this or just have recognized that, okay, short side to long side is going to be times three. So it's also going to be times three as well. I just found that was 30. Both way works, but whatever you prefer. Now, that's how you can quickly solve this question, but let's go over exactly what happened for the past 10 seconds. So the question tells us that BD is going to be parallel to AE, right? So they're parallel, which means this angle is going to be same as this angle because these two lines are parallel. And because these two triangles both share this angle right there, that means the third remaining angles, they also have to be the same. And when you have same set of angles, that means you have similar triangles. And if you have similar triangles, that means side lengths are going to be proportional. That's why we set up this proportion right there to find the missing side. But there's one problem here. We only have one equation and there are two unknown things, CD and CE. We don't know either of them. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find out what CD is so that we know what it is. And CE is the only unknown variable and we can isolate what CE is and find out what the answer is. So how do we find out what CD is? Well, CD is going to be right there and CD is going to be the hypotenuse of the right triangle. And how do you find missing side from a right triangle? By using a Pythagorean theorem. So we used Pythagorean theorem right there. Eight squared, six squared, eight squared, six squared is CD squared, CD squared right there. And by doing all that, we see that CD is equal to 10. And now that we have found out what CD is equal to, we plug it back into the equation, which comes out to this equation right here. And six over 18 is equal to 10 over CE. CE is the only unknown variable now. So what do we do? We just cross multiply and find out what CE is equal to. So technically you could have recognized that, oh, six and 18, they are going to be multiplied by three. So 10 and CE, they also got to have the same relationship, right? Because they are going to be proportional. So you could have recognized that, but the traditional method is for you to cross multiply these two numbers and do the math right there. So when the numbers are simple enough, you just want to look at six and 18 and recognize what the relationship is. But when there is a complicated relationship, you want to go with the traditional route of cross multiplying to find out the missing side length. So this question is actually number 18 from section three. And in section three, there are 20 questions and 18th question. That means it's probably one of the hardest questions in this whole section. But here's what you need to do. You need to take a look at the question and try to identify which concept it is testing because it's going to be one of the concepts that you have learned. So ideally, you want to look at this question and recognize that, oh, they are going to be parallel right there. That means they have same set of angles, which means they're going to be similar triangles, which means their side length are going to be proportional. Just like this, you want to have a system in your head that you can just follow down. Honestly, that's how you should approach every single question on the SAT. But this mindset comes really useful when it comes to tough questions like these. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you on the next one.
What's up guys, John from Admission Hackers. You just saw one of the fastest way to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program covers only what is proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. And I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, I'll see you in the next one.